PM board bombs. Welcome back to EM board bombs. What's up, Briggs? The one and only. The one and only. The one and only. Hey, it's good to it's good to see you back from Death Valley. Mm-hmm. Uh, survived. This survived. is Death Valley in California, not Death Valley in yes. Clemson. Shout out Clemson. Yeah, or LSU. Shout out Clemson Tigers. Oh, really? LSU. Yeah, their stadium. Yeah. It's Death what Valley. is LSU's mascot? The Bengals Tigers. Is I don't know. Oh my gosh, you're probably gonna they get have a tiger it. in a cage in their stadium. I We're getting corrected. Hey, uh, shout out to our one sponsor, EM News, the only sponsor, the only sponsor. And we're gonna do an interesting thing here. Old boards, mm-hmm. people doing a lot of prep right now. Uh, two of my uh, former residents actually reached out, you know, asking to do some world boards prep. So this is an inspiration from them. I'm not gonna name their names, but they know who they are. They know who they are. Uh, this topic is going to be fun. Uh, we're going to get into it. It's a yeah. bit different than what we usually do. Hey, before we get into this, remember EM Rapid Bombs. Uh, you can go to emboardbombs.com. Click on that question bank. Sign up. One click. Yeah. Past 500 question bank episodes. Isn't that Pretty crazy? awesome. That is insane. That's awesome. I mean, 500 episodes. Each episode it will... You know, the yield on that is two to three questions that you would see on board. So exactly. that's a great way to learn uh, for boards. If you listen to one episode a day, you'll be finished in like a year and a half. That's how many episodes we have. But the beauty is you can crush through multiple yeah. episodes a day. Yeah, you can. Absolutely. You really can. And uh, shout out to all the people who reached out to us post boards too for Ian yeah. Rapid Bombs. Continue to get good feedback. All right. Give us topic ideas. Yep. Let's get into it. I will be the person on boards examining you, Dr. Briggs. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Sounds like you have a conflict of interest as a board examiner. <laughs> and I request a new examiner. <laughs> right. A 67-year-old male presents to your emergency department with the chief complaint of syncope. You may okay. now begin. All right. And for the record, I am not reading anything, mm. and I'm going to go on the fly here. All right. Let's go. This is Ian Board Bombs for all. Let's, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> I'd like to assess the patient's ABCs, airway breathing circulation. Sure. Yeah. The patient's uh, alert, speaking full sentences, airways intact, okay. uh, breathings, uh, they're not labored, oxygen mm-hmm. saturation is 97% on room air. Uh, the patient's heart rate is 110 and blood pressure is 100 over 60. Skin is pale and cool. Hmm. Okay, I'd like to place the patient on the monitor mm. on telemetry yep. and pulse oximetry as well. Okay. And I would like a repeat vitals every five minutes. And I'd like two large bore IVs. Mm. Um, and let's start uh, a normal saline bolus. Okay. Or LR, whatever you prefer. Yeah. We know we prefer LR on the inboard bomb. But anyways. <laughs> All right, so the nurse is yeah. going to begin a one liter bolus of LR. Um hmm. And, she like us. Yep. And you, so you, you know, you have access now. Right. And uh, your monitor uh, confirms uh, sinus tachycardia. Uh, patient is alert. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my HPI. Um, I'm going to talk to the patient. What were they doing when they passed out and uh, what happened today, basically? Yeah. So he was standing in the kitchen. And suddenly felt dizzy, felt like everything went black. Uh, wife says that he was out for about 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. He felt uh, just weak and, and, and felt a bit off. Um, and then he's been feeling like this actually for the last few days. Uh, he has noticed some dark red blood in his tool. Uh, no chest pain with this, no shortness of breath, uh, no vomiting. Okay, got it. Got it. All right. Uh, let me ask him about his past medical history, um, past surgical history. Sure. Any medications he's on, is, and then um, any allergies. Sure. So uh, and social past, history. Yeah. Sorry. So past medical history: uh, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, um, history of uh, abdominal aortic aneurysm, surgical history. Had a endovascular uh, AAA repair four years ago. Uh, cholecystectomy as well uh, in the past, and an appendectomy. Um, medications, uh, lisinopril, atorvastatin, and aspirin. Okay. Allergies, no known. Uh, social history, he quit smoking about five years ago. No alcohol or drug use or any other illicit substances. Mm. 
Okay. All right. Not looking good here. Mm. So uh, let me do review systems. Uh, any abdominal pain, uh, any fevers, mm -hmm. any change in bowel movements. Mm. Uh, so he does endorse, um, you, you know, when you asked about some of the stools and whatnot, bowel movements, a uh, red stool yesterday and, and again this morning. He denies any fever chills, any actual abdominal pain with this. Hmm. Interesting. All right, uh, let me do my physical exam now. I uh, want to obviously uh, do an abdominal exam, looking at the abdomen, yep. and then going through with steps of normal physical exam of the abdomen. All right, so now uh, we're in the physical exam part. So general mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. patient is now pale, uh, appears you yeah. know, a bit fatigued, but is still alert. Uh, vital signs are heart rate 115. Blood pressure is now 98 or 58. Respiratory rate is 18. Temp is 37.2 degrees Celsius. Uh, O2 sats 97% room air. HENT, dry mucous membranes, chest clear breath sounds, cardiac, tachycardic regular rhythm, abdomen, uh, obese, non tender, no palpable masses, no pulsatile findings, extremities, no edema, uh, pulses are 2 plus throughout still. And then on rectal exam, there is bright red blood, no masses. You're such a nice board examiner. I know. Giving I mentioned me things the I didn't ask for. I know. I mentioned the rectal <laughs> and on boards, they might not mention that here. No, but, you need to. Yeah. And, they have it, and they wouldn't give me that much stuff. You'd yeah. have to ask for all that. Yeah. But thank you for uh, speeding this process mm -hmm. along. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, none of that's good. Um, let's go ahead and <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, proceed with uh, workup. So I, I need a CBC on this patient. Okay. I need a type in screen on this patient. I do a type, I'm sorry, type and cross match. Okay. Uh, we will also do a PTI and R, PTT, of course, CMP, uh, and um, we want to keep the patient NPO, of course. We'll go ahead and also uh, do uh, IV PPI therapy, pantoprazole, mm. um, and we're going to go ahead and do some imaging. Uh, okay. We're going to do a CT angiogram of the MN pelvis with and without contrast, please. Okay. And then can I repeat the patient's vitals now? Okay, so you're asking for repeat vitals. Blood pressure is now uh, 80 over 40. Patient's heart rate mm, is 130. Sats are uh, still at 100% on room air. Hmm. Yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, activate massive transfusion protocol. Mm, okay. All right. <laughs> let's go ahead and start off with uh, one unit, uh, back blood cells. Okay. And then uh, we need to do an abdominal rate exam. Mm -hmm. Assuming no changes, um, we want to rush the CT as soon as possible. Yeah. So labs are pending. Uh, yep. Your CT uh, angio comes back, shows um, active extravasation of contrast from the aorta into the third portion of the duodenum. Mm. Uh, surrounding stranding and trapped air adjacent to the graft. No evidence of intra-abdominal free fluid. Uh, the patient's blood pressure does improve. It's now 100 over 60. Um, now. patient continues uh, to be tachycardic uh, that has improved a little bit it's, uh, 105 is the tachycardia that's awesome mm -hmm. for now okay. okay cool so i'm going to go ahead and initiate a consult to vascular surgery okay. i want to emergently call them and tell them i have a case of uh, aortic enteric fistula and that needs emergent intervention and i'm going to continue obviously resuscitating with blood products yeah. target mean arterial pressure 65 Great. Uh, you have the vascular surgeon uh, on the phone. Um, hey, Dr. Vascular. I have a patient with <laughs> with an aortic fistula. Not good. Mm -hmm. Not a good day. Um, hope you drank extra coffee. If, uh, if you don't mind taking him, that will be excellent. Uh, yeah, you got to tell me more than that for me to come in. <laughs> it's one of those cases. Come on now. You gotta love when they do this on the boards. <laughs> yeah, they want to be specific. They want to know the. I know they do. I know they do. I was trying to. I was trying to rush this podcast. Here we go. Um, you as a board examiner should understand that. Um, yeah. So this patient presented with a borderline hypotension, tachycardia. They have a history of a aortic aneurysm repair uh, about four years ago, and now they're coming in with a bright red blood rectum on exam here, and uh, they were hypotensive times two. I've now given them blood. They're still tachycardic, and their CT shows real-time leakage of contrast. Mm. That does not sound good. Into the bowel. Does not sound From good. the aorta. 
Um, so you're telling me I need to come in right away. It's based. If you don't mind, yeah, please. No, sounds, right now. Sounds like we need right to do now. this. So, um, sounds like we need to do this. <laughs> you know, um, let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and work again the already. If you can continue to resuscitate the patient, uh, we'd appreciate yes, that. I'd be happy to, happy yeah. to help. Thanks for being an astute, astute uh, EM provider. Uh, sorry, Thank not you. provider, EM clinician and yes. uh, physician. Understanding the right type of imaging that was required. Yes, my pleasure. Hey, so let's get into some of the critical action things uh, here. Let's do that. So you, how you're measured on the boards are knocking out the critical actions, right? right. Um, there's a certain number that you can kind of like, certain number of like major or minor things you can miss. You can't miss too many of them though. Uh, here, we're going to summarize some of the key things. So, What's really funny is that, to interrupt totally, mm -hmm. that was the first publication I ever had was I wrote a case report on a York and Terry yeah. yeah, that might be why I brought that up as a case. No, it's that. not. You have no idea I wrote that report. Yeah, I do know <laughs> that you wrote this report. I you, you sent it to me when you wrote it. I thought it was great. I don't think I forget. Okay. I don't forget. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know about that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. My memory is still here. All right. <laughs> hey, go through these critical actions. One, recognizing that patient was unstable and then initiating mm -hmm. some form of resuscitation, right? Uh, right? The key thing is what you mentioned, Blake, is it's okay to, you want to put as much as you can on the person examining you. By that, the way you said, hey, repeat vital signs every 30 minutes, tell me if the patient becomes hypotensive. If you want to be really specific, you can say, I need to know if the patient's blood pressure drops below 100 systolic, right? Yeah. Um, because they want to make offload sure offload as much as you can offload as much as you can. Right. So exactly. that's why I kind of yeah. stepped in and I was like, Oh, the patient's blood pressure and you brought it up yourself, yeah. but you know, the patient's blood pressure is now low. Uh, so offload as much as you can. And then they're telling it to you for a reason. You need to do something exactly. about abnormal vital signs. And where I'll see people mess up here is they'll forget things like giving like basic Tylenol for like a fever. Right. Uh, they're telling you the abnormal vital sign. What are you doing? And it's good to kind of acknowledge for that patient's fever, I am giving Tylenol for that patient's yeah. blood pressure. Um, and, and it's okay to kind of talk about it so the examiner knows what you're thinking as well. Um, so there we, you know, initiated, you know, blood for that patient. Uh, number two was, uh, you know, getting the surgical history, it was key. Right, you want to be specific when you're getting history, not just oh, tell me about past medical history, tell me about past medical history, tell me about past surgical yeah. history, so that you were able to identify that prior AAA yeah. repair, um, and then considering aorta enteric fistula and differential is obviously important, um, and then ordering. Yeah, sometimes they'll make you, they'll ask you, and they'll make you say, "What is your differential right now?" Yeah. And um, they would hope that obviously you get counted as a point that you even consider this diagnosis. Correct. Correct. And then appropriating the, you know, ordering the appropriate imaging was a critical action item yes, here. Yes, not just yeah. a CT scan. If you, if you had done CT scan, Special CT scan. With, you know, you got to do the CT yeah. angio here. That is the yeah, key. Yeah, yeah. You should know with that past history, the type of bleed that the patient's having, the CT angio is really going to be helpful here. Um, For sure. And then uh, and another critical action point was, um, you know, keeping that patient NPO. We didn't really get into this, but it's massive transfusion protocol, IV antibiotics as well. Um you know, initiating blood uh, or having the protocol, uh, getting ready to do it, that would have been key. But that's another thing is making sure IV antibiotics, keeping that patient in PO. Um, Definitely. And then uh, consulting vascular surgery, right? Uh, if you're not consulting vascular surgery, you can consider yourself failing, you know, this oral boards. Right. Um, you need to consult vascular surgery. That needs to be your first call. Um, and then lastly, the dispo here is going to be key. Oftentimes the dispo is home. The dispo is just admission to a service. Right. Here it's straight to the OR for definitive management. Yes. Um, yeah. You need to, and if the vascular surgeon saying, oh, move them in the ICU while I get there, they'll do stuff like that where they'll, they'll push, push back, back, right? They'll push back and say, are you sure? Um, and they'll do it on purpose. I just want you to be a patient advocate. Exactly, obviously. right? So they might say, okay, it sounds yeah. like the patient, you know, we need to evaluate the patient. Let's put in the ICU and then I'll figure out OR from there. No, this is where you step in. And you'd be like, no, they need the OR right now. Like this patient is, you know, in a critical situation right now. And they need to fit in management. Totally. Yeah. Hey, can you wrap this thing up? Uh, yeah. In terms yeah. of like uh, key, a key learning it. points. Yeah. Yeah. So aortic enteric fistulas are very rare. But listen to that history of the patient when yep. they tell you they had an aortic repair and mm -hmm. they're coming in with bright red blood per rectum. Yep. That should be an aortic enteric fistula until proven otherwise. These are so deadly. 
Yeah. Uh, 100% mortality if missed. Mm. Uh, and they usually come in with like a herald bleed. They could have just, you know, blood in their stool and they come in, they look fine. Yep. The primary fistulas, they come from this erosion of that native AAA uh, mesh repair yep. in the graft. Um, now, often this will bleed into duodenum. And the only scan that's going to help you here is going to be your CT angiography. EGD, CT IV contrast, those don't really help here. Mm. Uh, and remember that herald bleed, that's your clue. Uh, small GI bleed. Yep. stops, and then it proceeds to a massive hemorrhage. You're never going to wait for the hemoglobin to drop, of course. The mm -hmm. patient will probably have a normal hemoglobin early yep. on, right, because of that normal blood loss. And uh, again, no EGD, no GI consult. This is blood products, vascular surgery, OR. Yeah, and you can easily see this case like falling off the rails if you forgot to ask for the surgical history, right? Yes. Um, and sometimes the examiner will kind of give you prompts to lead you back on uh, to that history, right? So if it doesn't really make sure. sense, and if the examiner's kind of pausing, not telling you more, and the case isn't wrapping up, you know, it's going off the rails, yeah, it's going <laughs> off the rails. And you need to have that mental checklist of the key yeah. things you're always doing, right? And that's where that right. sheet of paper, you're writing down all the key questions you're going to be asking in terms of the history, the physical exam, uh, because small things that are missed there can really just, you know, again, throw things off the rail, right? Absolutely. Hey, I thought it was pretty good. Awesome. Another topic. That pass? Knocked out. Yeah. I pass, hopefully. Yeah. There you go. And again, you don't have to hit every single item, right? But you need to hit almost all of them and especially the most critical ones. Uh, that we mentioned. So we're going to try to do some more of these. I think the feedback we've got yeah, has been pretty awesome. positive so far. If you like these, uh, reach out to us. We'll continue to drop them. Uh, be on the lookout for our uh, Rapid Bombs, our Premium Pod. We're going to be doing some oral board stuff there coming up. Uh, so, uh, yeah, get excited. All right, Briggs. Let's do it. Hey, appreciate you coming on. I know you had a, a long night last night. You know, no you still brought it. You still brought it. Good job. Ian Borpom still still comes first. Still comes first. Oh, we're going to be at SAM, by the way. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we yeah, might yeah, do some yeah. meetups at SAM, but... heads up. Uh, we totally will yeah, do some meetups. We'll do some we were meetups. trying to do it last year. I know, but this time we yeah. for sure maybe do a coffee meetup Let's or something it. like that. Absolutely. Yeah, coffee's on us. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, coffee's on us. Send us a message if you want to yeah, come see meet up. Drop it on Instagram or Twitter. Yeah, all right, break. Sweet. See you. See you.